Assalamu alaikum students. I am your computer teacher Ms. Shani Ladaud Pota. In our previous lecture, we have learned about the history and development of computers. Actually, history of computers is a chain that runs from the ancient epochs and the analytical engine of the 19th century through the modern computers of present age. It is generally divided into five generations. And each generation of computer is characterized by the major technological developments of that time. First generation of computers. The period of first generation of computers was from 1940 to 1956. In first generation computers, vacuum tubes were used as a basic electronic element or the technology of, of that computers. Vacuum tubes were made up of a glass bulb, so they produced a lot of heat and, and fell frequently. The teams of engineers were hired to find and replace the defective tubes. That's why the maintenance of first generation computers was very much difficult. They were very much expensive computers and they were very much big in size. Uh, almost they filled the full hall. They were fastest computers of their time and they produce a lot of heat, they consume a lot of electricity. For programming, machine language was used. Machine language, the language of uh, binary numbers, the zeros and ones, which was a computer's native language. So in a fast generation computers, the machine language was used for its programming. For storage of a data, magnetic drums were used. And for the input of a data, punch cards and the paper tapes were used. For out, output was taken on a paper. The examples of first generation computers were Mark I, ENIAC, Electronic Numerical Integrator and Calculator, EDSAC, Electronic Relayed Storage Automatic Computer, ETVAC, Electronic Discrete Variable Automatic Computer, UNIVAC, Universal Automatic Computer. The advantage of uh, these computers are that they were much, very much uh, fastest computers of their time. But uh, when we will talk about disadvantages, uh, they, they were very much big in size. They were very much uh, difficult to use because the machine language was used in it. So only experts were able to write the programs for the uh, first generation computers. Its maintenance was very much difficult because uh, is they fell frequently due to the vacuum tubes. So it was very much difficult to find the defective tube and replace it with the new one. And uh, they produce a lot of heat and they consume a lot of electricity. So they create uh, many problems. That's why in a second generation computer whose period was from 1956 to 1963, transistors were replaced with the vacuum tubes. Transistors were more reliable and much faster than the first generation computers and they were more cheaper so that's why the second generation computers were more cheaper than the first generation computers. And as the size of a transistor was smaller than the vacuum tubes, that's why the size of first generation computer, uh, second generation were smaller as compared to the first generation computer. And the uh, speed of a second generation computer was more faster, they were more reliable than the first generation computer. But the problem of heat is, was is still not solved. For programming, machine language, assembly language, and a few high-level languages like uh, COBOL and Fortran were used. For storage of a data, magnetic core technology was used. And punch cards and paper tapes were used for the input like a first generation and its output was also taken on a paper. Third generation, uh, third generation of computers. The period of third generation computers were from 1964 to 1971. 
and third generation computers ICs were used as a technology or the basic electronic element the solid state technology was used uh, IC means the integrated circuits were used in it in which the thousands of components were sealed in a small IC that's why the size of this generation was also reduced and for the programming language the high level languages were used and the operating system were also used in the third generation language for the storage magnetic core technology was used they were cheaper as compared to previous generation and they were smaller as compared to earlier two generation first and second generation and the uh, problem of heat was also resolved as compared to the first two generations means they produce a lazy heat as compared to the first and second second generation computers they were faster and reliable than previous two generations and the first generation the keyboard was used as an input device and the monitor was used as an output device the example of third generation computers were IBM 360 PTP 11 Four generation computers. The period of four generation computers were from 1971 to present. Up to present means the computers which we use today, our desktop computers, which we also call the personal computers, or PCs, or the micro computers, are the examples of four generation computers. Even all portable computers which we use today, just like uh, laptops, palm tops, de desktops, our mobile phones, and notepads. tablets all are the examples of four generation computers vlsi technology very large scale integration technology means the microprocessor was used in it microprocessor were very small chip and the high level languages were used for the programming just like uh, the languages which were very much close to uh, english language a uh, user friendly languages that's why in the four generation computers the uh, use of computers was also increased because it was easy to use it was friendly user everybody was able to write the program in english i mean high level language which was close to english language in four generation computers hard disk usb flash disk cds and are using we are using nowadays and they were cheaper that's why almost we use it in every field of life in our homes and everywhere this small size is small and portable means we can easily carry it from one place to another place its speed is very much high and the problem of heat is also solved for input we use the the different different devices according to different data just like a keyboard mouse and other handheld devices scanners mic and uh, a light pen means different devices we use as input devices for output we use the monitors printers plotters and the examples of to the four generation computers are all computers we see around us today are the examples of four generation computers and as i have discussed earlier the advantage of uh, mostly um, today's computers have advantages that it is easy to use and uh, uh, very much friendly and in every almost every field of life we use the today's computer four generation computers fifth generation computers we call it a present and beyond or we can call it a future generation present because we are using it today now it is becoming a part of our daily life in fifth generation computers and beyond mean is still the research is going on on the fifth generation computers the robots are the examples of fifth generation computers and the fifth generation computer ulsi ultra large scale integration was used basically the main feature of the fifth generation computers ai artificial intelligence 
the uh, goal of this generation is to make the computer intelligent ai means the I mean the computer will be able to think and take decisions like a human being artificial intelligence okay and for the languages there will be no need to write the programs we will use the natural languages for the programming i means ke these computers will allow users to give command in any natural language such as english and storage speed storage capacity is very much big and they are cheap smaller in size faster and self reliant computers and the robots are example of this fifth generation computers the goal of first generation computer fifth generation computer is to recognize the human voices thank you very much inshallah we will meet again with the next new topic